Welcome back to Endless Golf in Ocean Ridge Plantation here in Ocean Isle Beach, North Carolina. Staying with me is our ambassador today, Lauren Hunt. Lauren, again, thanks for spending some time with us. We had the chance to play a beautiful golf hole, number 17. In just a few moments, we'll challenge the 18th here on the Leopards Chase Golf Course. And we, we realize how beautiful of a golf course this is. It was one of the, the, the uh, in 2007, in the top 10 for new public golf courses by Golf Digest. So if you're looking for a great golf experience, you can find it right here at Leopards Chase. But you have four other golf courses here. Actually, you're going to add a fifth coming up uh, in, in the coming year, and that's going to be a great golf experience as well. We do. We have uh, four courses, like you mentioned, uh, Tiger's Eye, Lion's Paw, and Panther's Run, and Leopard's Chase. And the new one, Jaguar's Lair, is going to be opening up within the next year or so, um, relatively close to here. So we're excited to have Jaguar's Lair to be a fifth part of the Big Cats in uh, Sunset Beach, Ocean well, Beach. Well, the Big Cat Golf Experience really is a special experience. If you can't tell by now, just a tremendous golf course. And every golf course you play will challenge you, and they get more beautiful as you go along. So I will definitely say, if you're looking for a great golf experience here in the North Carolina, South Carolina area, the Grand Strand area, if you will, you can find it here uh, at this great uh, Ocean Ridge Plantation. Let's take a look now at some of the golf holes on the back nine. We talked about a few on the front, and we'll start with a terrific par four number 10. Number 10 is a great hole. Um, you have a bunker all on the right side of the a fairway. It's a challenging driving hole. Get the ball in, play off the tee. It's a fairly easy short approach shot for your second shot. So um, 10 is a great starting hole for your back nine. And then moving to a par five, number 11. Number 11 is a little challenging hole. Um, you hit a good tee shot. You have bunkers on your right, bunkers on your left. Again, you have to hit it down the middle of the fairway. You have options if um, you're a long hitter. You can hit over the wetlands that Tim Kate had designed, or you can have a layup shot, so you have a little bit of longer approach shot for your third shot, but you have an option there, which I like. So if you hit it good off the tee, you have that option of going for it in two as well. So. And then one of your favorite holes on the back nine, number 14. Number 14 is another par five, birdie hole, I like to call it. Um, relatively short golf hole. Get the ball off the tee um, in good position. You have a little wasteland on your left and bunkers on your right again. Um, if you set yourself up with a good drive, you can go for that hole in two as well. Um, green's a little elevated, big green, so you can hit your three wood up there and knock it close. And then talk about a very picturesque par three, number 16. 16 is a great lead ending par three on this golf course. Um, very scenic. You have wetlands that you hit over. Um, the green surrounded by trees, very pretty. Um, not too much of a challenging hole, just pretty to the eye. Well, Lauren, you birdied number 17, the terrific par five we just played. Now it's time to turn our attention to the par four, number 18, and just a gorgeous view in the background. The waterfalls just kind of just set the tone for this golf hole. Just a, go a beautiful way to finish a round here at Leopards Chase. It is. Depending on how your round's gone so far, you can take the, the waterfall as a soothing, relaxing thing, or you can think, oh, I really need to make a par, and I don't know, I need to hit it long enough to get over this waterfall. So it's a great ending hole for Leopards Chase. Well, let's head to 18 too. All right. Good swing. Little shortcut. A little shortcut. Good shot. I think it should be all right. I'm not going to be quite, I'm going to try not to be quite as aggressive as that. Try to hit a little bit to the right. Only because I have a tendency to hit it so far left. That's a good one. Well, Lauren, you hit a perfect drive on 17, end up making birdie. And here on 18, you took a little shortcut, uh, just absolutely perfect. And what a gorgeous second shot into this par four. It is. It's a great hole, great second shot approach here. I want to get it all the way back. The pin looks like it's all the way back there. I want to get it on top of the, the right. last tier. Hit it close, make two in a row. Stay right there. All right, got a putt at it. Mm -hmm. 
Lauren, I was a little more conservative with my tee shot, knocked it to the right, and uh, I've still got a, a pretty easy shot here. Only a nine iron, 135 to the flag stick, but as you mentioned, that pins all the way on the back, so you want to get it on that second tier. See if I can't get it close. Turn in there a little bit. I will take Not it. Not bad, yep. Okay, Bobby, here you go. You get to experience Leopard's Chase at his best on these <laughs> greens. We have big greens out here, and um, Tim K incorporated his uh, design of two tiered greens. So, see how close you can get it. Tell you what, it's a tough little putter. You can take it out for me, Lauren. Okay. This is definitely going to swing from right to left. Come on. Great putt. Oh, <laughs> oh, I thought I made it, Lauren. I thought you did too for a second. <laughs> From a Tar Heel to a Terrapin, is that good? You know what? I'll give it to you. <laughs> good four. All right, knock it in. Let her in. Two in a row. Oh, oh good try. Is that good too? That's good. <laughs> Even a Terrapin will give that to a Tar Heel. <laughs> you guys win everything anyway. <laughs> That's true, like national championship. Yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Hey, uh, been a gracious host, as I mentioned, on the last golf hole, 17. You know, when you play 17 here at Leopards Chase, you think that's a great golf hole, and then you move to the 18th tee, and you really realize how beautiful this golf course is. It is. It just tops off uh, Leopards Chase in general. And we'll come back right here at Leopards Chase, and uh, we're going to have our tip of the week, and Lauren's going to show us how to improve our game. It's certainly something that I need right here at Leopards Chase, so stay with us.